open your mind. Hey out there, this is Buzz with the Survival Buzz. You pretty much have to be living under a rock at this point not to uh, know about all the southern border problems that we've been having for quite some time now. And since this administration has been in power, that problem seems to be just aggravated more and more and gets worse and worse as the days go by. And I'm sure you guys have heard a little bit in the news about everything going on with uh, Governor Greg Abbott in Texas fighting back against this. Uh, trying to secure the borders. Well, apparently he's having a little bit of trouble now, a little bit of fight back from the federal government. And there's lots of talks of the possibility of could we be leading into a Civil War 2.0. I don't know if we're quite there yet, but things are, are definitely, there's a lot of plays going on on both sides. But uh, I'm just going to read this article to you guys about this. Um, a lot of strange stuff going on. So this article is out of Zero Hedge, came out today, and the headline reads, Governor Abbott tells Tucker he's not backing down, expects states to circle wagons, and Trump elected in November. Uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott spoke with Tucker Carlson on Friday, telling him that he's going to, quote, do as much as possible to put up more border barriers and deny illegal entry, end quote. And that quote, our head is down. We are working regardless of what the Biden administration is doing, end quote. Ab Abbott told Carlson that he's prepared in the event that Biden tries to take over the Texas National Guard. Quote, that would be a boneheaded move on his part, a di total disaster, he says. We are prepared in the event that that unlikely event does occur. Already making plans for it. Quote, we do have other armed state employees on the border as we speak right this minute and the Texas Department of Public Safety, as well as other law enforcement officers, as well as the National Guard from other states. And you can be assured that there will be more National Guard from other states and more law enforcement officers within the state of Texas and other states. Kind of flexing his muscles there a bit. Ten retired FBI officials and experts in counterintelligence sent a letter to congressional leaders warning that the Biden administration's policies have facilitated a soft invasion of military-aged men into the United States from terror-linked areas across the world. The letter written on January 17th this year before Texas Governor Abbott invoked the invasion clause of the U.S. Constitution suggests that a terrorist attack is likely imminent. Quote, the threat we call out today is new and unfamiliar. In its modern history, the U.S. has never suffered an invasion of the homeland, and yet one is unfolding now. Quote, end of quote. Quote, military-aged men from across the globe, many from countries or regions not friendly to the United States, are standing in waves on the soil by the thousands. Not by splashing ashore from a ship or parachuting from a plane, but rather foot across a border that has been accurately advertised around the world as largely unprotected with ready access granted to whoever. Quote, it would be difficult to overstate the danger represented by the presence inside our borders of what is comparatively a multi-division army of young men, single males from hostile nations and regions whose background, intent, or allegiance is completely unknown. They include individuals encountered by border officials and then possibly released into the country along with a shockingly high estimate of gotaways. The shockingly high estimate of gotaways meaning that those who have entered and evaded apprehension. The letter continues. Earlier this week, Abbott invoked Texas's right to self-defense deemed the migrant crisis an invasion. In response, a coalition of 25 Republican governors mine included here in Oklahoma, have signed a letter in support of the Texas resistance. Meanwhile, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton posted a meme on X which reads, come and take it. Lots of flexing going on here, guys. Of the more than 10 million illegal border crossers who have entered the U.S. since Biden took office, 
more than 1.7 million are gotaways, those who have illegally entered and evaded capture since Biden has been in office. The majority of those are reportedly military-aged men. In light of such a daunting, unprecedented penetration by uninvited foreign actors, it is reasonable to assess that the country p possesses dramatically diminished national security at this time. The nation's military and laws and other natural protective barriers have provided traditional security in the past and have been thoroughly circumvented over the past three years, the former FBI official wrote. The letter calls on Congress to secure the border, quote, against these young men and those already here illegally must be identified and removed without delay, end quote. <clears throat> Guys, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. And whether... I don't know whether we're at Civil War 2.0 necessarily. I don't think we're quite there yet. Not that that isn't a possibility in the near future. But there's a lot of power plays being made here. There's a lot of big events going on. I mean, that video I just made yesterday about the FDA now being able to do uh, research without your consent. Um, and then now this. Now, you know, the southern border has already been invaded for a while now. And I'm sure there's sleeper cells everywhere. But now with these big moves by a state official, state government against the federal government, and neither side really backing down at this point, I don't know what the long haul is going to bring. But uh, I foresee a lot of court court hearings going on. I see a lot of action going on there. Whether we reach Civil War 2.0, I really don't know. But it kind of seems that we're headed that way. You guys... The time to prepare is really running out and I'm just going to keep beating this drum as long as I possibly can. And I would hope people are listening, whether to me or somebody else. Time is really running out, man. There's a lot of big power plays going on and there's a lot of lines in the sand being drawn at this moment. So you guys keep your head on a swivel. God bless y'all. And I'll catch you on the flip side later.